In October 2010, the Lansing City Council tried to force a private developer to pay union-scale wages and benefits to build a private apartment complex along the Grand River, just five blocks from the Michigan Capitol building. East Lansing developer Pat Gillespie bought the land from the city. His contract with the city confirms the site is contaminated and that the city will help him get special tax abatements to help offset the cleanup costs. However, well after the sale, four city council members refused to grant the cleanup tax abatements. They insisted the builder must first agree to pay union scale wages and benefits for all jobs on the project. Gillespie took the city to court and won. In this video, city council discusses whether to appeal the court order upholding the developer's contract rights. It features Lansing Mayor Verge Bernero chastising the four council members and voicing strong support for Gillespie and his willingness to invest in the city. In this economy, to play the games that some of you have played is just unbelievable. Uh, so I, I certainly hope that we can put this issue to bed right here, right now. Appealing this ruling would be dangerously short-sighted. It would result in long and expensive legal battles that could easily end up costing the city millions of dollars in damages that we simply can't afford to, play, to pay. So I'm interested if those who, who uh, want to draw this matter out and want to consider, consider an appeal, I'm, I'm really, I'd like to know uh, where would the money come from? Should we end up being sued for millions, which we certainly could be, some of you have some legal expertise here at this, uh, on this rostrum, I'd like to know where you propose to get the money should we lose. Because I'll tell you, I don't have it. These are tough times. We're doing everything we can to balance the budget and keep police on the streets, and you all want to play games and invite litigation. I can't believe it. A vote tonight to appeal the circuit court decision would kill the marketplace project and seriously damage the progress we're making in bringing back our riverfront. A major concern I'm having as this thing develops is that developers, or at least this developer, has a sense of entitlement uh, to these incentives. When we look at the uh, Marshall Street Armory project and the request that he came back for an amendment on that, and we said no, well, lo and behold, he's going to build that project without the incentive, thereby, thereby not needing the incentive to begin with. So I'm a little concerned about how we're triaging these projects and the, the entitlement mentality that is now coming along that with economic development projects, we're going to do incentives and anything that comes here. So um, I just have those concerns and that all plays into my position here. And when you talk about a mentality, an entitlement mentality, I frankly think it takes a lot of nerve for somebody who's in the public sector, not the private sector. You know, you've been on the EDC long enough that you ought to know uh, what it takes to put one of these projects together, what it takes, the entrepreneurship and the commitment and the risk involved from an individual in the private sector. I, for one, am grateful for every entrepreneur who comes to the city and is interested in making money in the city of Lansing. I want to invite them. I want to put down the red carpet very clearly, as we have up to this point, for developers all over the state and country to please come to Lansing. And when you have the temerity to sit and talk about an entitlement mentality by developers, please, entitlement, the risk that they're undertaking, we should be welcoming. Yes, we should bend over backwards. We should try to make it work in every way possible. So I want to be clear. I want to make it clear. I disagree with you. I don't believe Pat Gillespie has an entitlement mentality. I think he's done a great deal for this city. And I want to continue to encourage Pat Gillespie and other developers to please come and make a, make a home in Lansing. Please come and invest in our city. We would use every economic development tool. I want to pledge right here tonight. I will use every tool in the toolbox, and I will fight Brian Jeffries or any other person who gets in the way to bring jobs and economic opportunity to my city. In the past, Brian, we've been able to count on you. You've been on the EDC, and you've been there. I don't know what happened. I don't know what, you know, what, what water or whatever, but uh, the wrong message is getting out, I fear, about the city.
and this notion that we've got to be all one way or all the other. When in the past, mm -hmm. we were able to bring business and labor together, and not, not everybody, neither side might get 100%. They might not get 100% of what they wanted. You know, they might have to settle for 50%. I've always thought better 50% of something than 100% of nothing. But if you all have your way, some of you here, I'm afraid we'd end up with 100% of nothing. We've reached the contract. When you do that, you negate your insurance policy that covers your claims. And if we lose, not only are we going to lose and have to pay attorney's fees and all of the other fees that go with this for lost development, that money, for those who don't want to admit that up here when they're talking to people about their responsibility to the taxpayer, it's going to come out of our general fund. General fund, people. This is your tax dollars going to pay for our mistake if we go through with this. Thank <laughs> you.